Just to give a little background into this project, this is the back cover for the lathe, and it was previously held on by these two uh, Allen cap screws, and this back cover has to come off relatively often uh, to change gears if needed, um, check the gears. Uh, there's several reasons why it needs to come off, and the lathe also came with uh, maybe seven or eight Allen wrenches uh, that go to all the different screws on this lathe. So um, having to find the same, the correct Allen wrench um, every time you wanted to take the back cover off and then having to use it became a little bit tedious. So uh, my solution was to create a couple of thumb screws that could be used in the place of the uh, Allen head cap screws. Um, this project was neat for a couple of reasons because it gave me a chance to uh, do some interrupted cutting uh, to make these these grips on here uh, and it also gave me some experience in machining something that was long and thin. Uh, I did run into a little bit of issue with it bending um, but I think they turned out okay. Uh, the the last cool thing about it is I had to make two things that were the same. Um, I think it's easy to make one thing that looks cool, uh, but to make to be able to replicate it and create a second one um, that provides an additional challenge. Um, so I I ended up doing these in two different ways. The first one I machined uh, by holding it on the what ended up being the skinny end and machining the thumb part first uh, and then then machining out this thin part and that worked pretty well uh, especially on this the grip part but I had trouble getting a nice consistent diameter on the thin part um, the other one I machined the opposite direction I machined the thin part first and the diameter on the thin part on the second one is is much more consistent but I had a little bit harder time uh, turning the, the thumb part uh, because I, I reversed it in the lathe and I was I was getting some bending um, but for the most part uh, this was a, a really good exercise and it definitely improved the the functionality of this lathe um, I think quite a bit. So it was a good learning experience and it was a, a cool thing that was worth doing that would be useful in the future as well. At this point the rest of this video is a more or less self-explanatory mashup of the two different methods that I used. If you enjoy it please like and subscribe and thank you for watching. In case this part wasn't obvious, I'm using the drill chuck key as a way to index the holes that I need to drill for the thumb grip. 